It was back to business in Parliament this morning after the budget was passed in a majority vote last night. During questions without notice, member for Pomio, Elias Kapavore, asked the minister responsible if he was aware of the environmental dilemma caused by New Guinea gold when exploring the Sinevit gold mine area in what is also known as the wild dog structure in East New Britain. Mr. Speaker, I have recently visited the abandoned site after receiving a complaint from the landowners. And the current environment is described as the environmental dilemma and a disaster as all storage containers were vandalized and canvases used in the gold extraction process have ended up in the surrounding villages. The situation, Mr. Deputy Speaker, is, uh, I believe, needed urgent intervention by the government. Minister for Environment and Conservation John Pundari said his department became aware of the situation in 2014, after which technical officers were sent to the site and a report is being compiled. Mr. Pundari assured the member and people of Pomio that he would use every legal means possible to make sure the developer answers to the environmental damage it caused. Mr. Speaker, as I said, I am aware of the situation at uh, the Wild Dog Mine, where the developer, Nguyen Gold Limited, abruptly uh, closed the mine without proper consultation. Uh, the developer, Mr. Deputy Speaker, failed its corporate uh, social responsibility. Mr. Pundari said the department tried to negotiate with the developer, but without success, as directors of the company have all fled overseas. I want this uh, company and its board members to be, uh, if possible, blacklisted in Papua New Guinea so that they will not conduct any more mining uh, business in this country. Such companies which do not have a strong mining background and a strong and proven uh, corporate track record in responsible mining practices. This sort of companies, Mr. Deputy Speaker, should not and should never have been allowed to operate in this country. Mr. Pundari said as a form of security, the government should now encourage environmental bonds to avoid such circumstances in future. Delhi Waigeno, National MTV News.